everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful time. I know that spring has sprung in some parts of the world, but here, summer has descended on the Philippines and it's been very hot and been very humid lately. And I have actually installed like a curtain, if you guys can see here in the mirror, um, in my doorway because the glare from the sun is just too much. And you know, sometimes because it's been it's been very bright, um, I actually wear sunnies while I'm working here in my office. And speaking of light, I do apologize in advance if as we go along the video, the lighting is going to change because if you know me and if you've been following me for quite some time, I actually prefer to shoot under natural light for my videos. Now, anywho, for... Um, this video, I'm actually going to be talking about one of the new products that I've got from Chanel. Well, it's not new in the market, but it's actually new to me. And it's actually one of their Le Cat Ombre Eyeshadow. And it is in the color T6 Humble. Now, let me just show you guys what the color story of the squad looks like. So let me just remove all of the unnecessary um, things here so that they don't fall. So this is how the color story of Tisse Cambon looks like. I am very attracted to these kinds of um, color stories. I think they work very well with people who have very nice uh, like you know warm golden brown eyes and I also think that this will work well with people who have nice um, blue eyes. So let's take a look more closely with this. So as you guys can see here, we have cool tone colors, but I think they can be quite intense, but we will find out soon enough when I swatch them. So one color here is a very nice, like, you know, bony white color. One is a very neutral, taupey kind of a color. And then we have here at the bottom left side, it's a very nice cool tone pink. But I see a hint of warmth in it. I can see a little bit of this, like some gold shimmer on that, but will confirm it as soon as I swatch it. And we have one very nice deep violet color which can act as an eyeliner or like as a definer or like as an enhancer for your eyes. So let's swatch these colors one by one and let's try to see how well it actually glides on the skin. All right, so I'm going to be starting with this white color. Oh, it's a very nice color. It has a nice sheen to it. Not too much, just right. Okay, right beside that, I'm going to swatch this very nice taupey brown color. Okay, so it's not as intense as I thought that it was going to be. And it has a hint of pink in it, which I now understand why. Because after all, if we look at the color story of the uh, quad, we can see that it has very... Like the main color tone of this is actually pink. Again, speaking of pink, let us watch this pinky shade right beside that. Okay, so yeah, um, I can see a hint of warmth in this pink eyeshadow. It's very pretty though, and it's not as intense as I thought that it was going to be. So let me just add another layer on top of that. Very pretty. So at least it has a hint of warmth, which I like because um, sometimes if a pink is too icy on the eyes, um, it kind of like doesn't Work. Okay, and the last shade that we have here is this intense violet shade. Ooh, it's a very nice color. It has like a hint of like, it looks like it's an eggplant kind of a color. And it doesn't have as much shimmer as the other colors in the quad, which is great because at least we can use this as eyeliner and as a definer. Or like, you know, if you want to intensify the socket line. Now, I really love purple shades like this or like violet shades like this because I find that it works extremely well with a lot of eye colors that I work with here. So I work with a lot of like, you know, brown eyes here of different intensities. Some are warmer, golden, or some are even like deeper browns. And I find that when I use colors like this on the eyes, it kind of like um, brings out the eye color more. And one other thing, when I was at the Chanel counter and I was looking at the TC Cambon quad, um, I was actually a little bit on the, um, again, I wasn't sure if I was going to purchase it because I found that some of the colors here are available in some other palettes that I have um, in my collection. Like for example, this purple shade here looks very, very similar to one of the um, colors that I have here from the Orgasm X uh, palette from NARS. And let me just swatch this NARS color right beside it. As you guys can see, it's very, very different. And um, they're quite similar in tone, but the NARS 
eyeshadow here that you can see actually has a much more like you know brown undertone to it and it has a lot more shimmer in comparison to the one here from Chanel. Now speaking of similar colors, I also have one color here from the Divine Rose 2 palette from Pat McGrath that might look quite similar to the Chanel eyeshadow. So let us just swatch that right beside the NARS eyeshadow here. And as you guys can see, they look very, very different. So as you guys can see here, the eyeshadow from the Pat McGrath uh, Divine Rose 2 palette um, leans towards the more violet side, the warmer side, while the Chanel color here is more blue, more cool, more purple. So at least I'm quite happy that I do not have, um, like, you know, the same shades in my collection because that's one concern that I have and um, like you know I just don't really love to buy a lot of eyeshadow colors that are very similar to each other because um, in the end I end up using one palette or one brand instead of the other and the other just goes to waste but as you guys can see here on my arm we can see that the colors are quite similar but they're also very different so at least in me looking at the swatches here on my arm right now I know that I'm able to play up with the eyes and to create nice dimension when I'm using these colors but I'm just so glad that they're very very different from each other and with the other colors that I see here swatch on my arm you know this pink this white and this taupey color um, I'm sure I have similar colors in my collection but they're also quite different um, especially in terms of the shimmer um, content in these eyeshadows because it's very delicate and there's actually more pigment in these eyeshadows than shimmer so at least that's great because it will um, apply nicely in the eyes all right so i'm just going to move closer to the camera and let's try to see how well these eyeshadow colors apply on my eye so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply an eye base and as always one of my favorites is the nars pro prime eye base and I'm just going to apply a minute amount all over my eyelids just so that the shimmers have something to cling to and by the way before I started this video I've um, like you know put all my skincare down my sunscreen everything um, now I'm gonna be debating if I'm going to put on a full look later but maybe not because I'm pressed for time so this will just be all about the Chanel eyeshadow today. And by the way, I'm still trying out the um, Tree of Life Beauty Moisturizer and Eye Gel. So this is like the third week that I am trying this out now. And so far, um, I have had no reactions at all. So if you're interested to see my review for the Tree of Life Beauty um, vitamin C moisturizer and vitamin C eye gel and serum I'm gonna put a link down below okay all right so I have already felt that the eye base has actually set on my eyelid so let's start with the eyeshadow application let me start by getting out this worker 2 brush from Sonia G and I'm going to start by using this very nice pinky tone here and the reason why I'm using the worker 2 brush from Sonia is because we can see that the formula here is actually big so you need a much more denser brush to pick up the pigment from this so the eyeshadow is now loaded on the brush and I'm just going to gently tap the color all over my eyelid okay so I'm just building up the intensity and I'm just layering colors I'm actually liking this pinky tone eyeshadow color that we see here because I can see there's a little bit, there's a hint of gold in it, there's a hint of warmth, so that should be very nice because that will really play with the golden tones of my eye color. And I also like using pink eyeshadows on myself because um, my eye, like, you know, of course, like the predominant color that we see is actually a very nice golden brown color, but my limbal ring is actually a little bit gray. So the blue tones on the pink eyeshadow will work well with the blue tones on the gray tones of my limbal ring. Alright, so I'm quite happy on how that appeared on my eyes. So I'm just going to shift the way that I'm going to hold the brush now. And um, as you guys can see here, this is um, the remnants of the eyeshadow color on the brush. So whatever is left here, I'm just going to lay it here near my socket line. And I'm just going to use like windshield wiper motions because that will 
just bring the color into my socket line and it will just diffuse the color out okay and it's going to spread that out now hmm, i'm actually liking this pink eyeshadow in this quad and the main reason is because you know there are some pink eyeshadows in the market that as soon as you apply it it looks like you're sick but with this one it's nice and vibrant and it's warm very pretty eyeshadow color very pretty i have to say all right now with a clean blending brush i'm just going to further blend out the edges mm, that's very pretty i like that this can actually be a nice one and done eyeshadow already you can just like you know add mascara and then you're good to go nice color and so far i have not seen any fallout on my cheeks so that's great i think that's because of the eye base that we used today okay so now i have the crease pro brush and i'm going to try to use this taupey color here Ooh, this crease pro brush is actually quite strong and it has actually created some fluff on um the pan here so i have to be careful with this and let's try to see if this taupey brown color can actually emphasize my socket line just to add some depth in that area i was a little bit worried at first when i saw this um on the quad because um i just thought that it was a little bit like you know off in terms of color together with the quad but after i've swatched it on my arm and now that i'm using it on my eyelid i can see that it's a very cohesive color with the color story because after all this has a hint of pink now but the thing is for me is that it has more shimmers in it but if you want to add more depth you actually would need to use a matte eyeshadow for this but this color is actually okay it can like you know be a nice transition shade to help you when you're creating the lift that you need for your eye shape Hmm. So I find that I need to add some definition on my socket line, but I'm not going to use this deep color first because I don't want to add that kind of an intense color for this eye look. So I'm going to pick up my Claire Obscure Le Cat Om, and I'm going to use one of the eyeshadow colors here. Maybe this one, this nice, like very grayish taupey eyeshadow color. And I'm just loading a little bit of it here on the brush head. And I'm just going to remove the excess here at the back of my hand. And I'm just going to lightly sweep it along my socket line. And let's see if this will work together. All right. So, yes, this is the kind of um, intensity that I was hoping that this taupey eyeshadow color will create but unfortunately it's just way too light but as i've said earlier this taupey eyeshadow color is actually great as a transition shade and you can just you know use your favorite taupey matte eyeshadow color on top of that to add more intensity all right so that has already created a nice lift in the eyes so let's pick up this nice taupey color again and let's just add it here on the lower lash line now it's just too shimmery so this will not really do anything when you want to intensify or like you to create depth and definition because that's the problem when you use um, eyeshadow palettes that have a lot of shimmer in it they reflect the light back and it just makes it look lighter and brighter but if you're someone who wants to create a very nice wide-eyed look you can use this in the under eye area here along the lower water lash line because this will really help just to open up the eye okay and with the same eyeshadow brush i'm going to go back into the claire obscure like cat arm i'm going to pick up this taupey brown color again and i'm just going to apply it here on the outer portion here on the lower lash line just to help define that area and open up my eyes some more make it wider Okay, and just create a lift and I'm just blending it well into my socket line all right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this very intense purple eyeshadow I'm going to be using a definer brush for this and I'm just going to apply that all over my upper lash line so 
that we can create a nice depth of color there, nice intensity. I'm not going to overline it. I'm just going to smoke it out a bit just so that they, you know, it emphasizes um, the thickness of the lash line. And this color will really help out, you know, bring out the brown tones of my eye color. Hmm, that's nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to blend out the edges some more and I'm just going to use like sweeping upward motions. Just so that it blends out and it will really help to create a lift in the eye without overdoing it. Just keeping it light, keeping it fresh, keeping it well blended out. Okay, and now let's just add some mascara. And we can see that it has helped create a very nice lift on the eye. Okay, but one thing's first, let's go back and pick up this nice white eyeshadow color here and let's add some drama here in the inner corner of the eye and maybe a little bit here in the brow bone area mm -hmm. okay so that's a very nice gentle eyeshadow application i think this is very wearable not too overly done great for a day look very nice and very pretty and like you know again you're just using a very minimal number of colors but it's giving your eyes a very nice look all throughout very awake and very fresh all right so now what i want to do is i want to create a much more intense eye look here and i'm going to start by getting this um what is this the builder 2 brush from sonia g and i'm just going to wet it a bit and i'm going to start by picking up the pinky shade here i'm like like really loading it into the brush head and i'm going to apply it in a tapping motion all over my eyelid okay so i'm just building up the intensity i'm trying to see if i'm actually able to apply more color than here on the other eye if there's one thing that i like about like you know chanel eyeshadow products is that you can actually use some of them in a wet or dry formula and the main reason why it's a bit it's a little bit nostalgic for me because when i first started i talked about this before in some videos of mine that like you know the formulas were not as like you know new as they are now and i used to like you know wet a lot of the eyeshadows in order to blend it out in the eye and i still really like doing that type of like eyeshadow application because like you know um it reminds me of painting classes and it just reminds me of like you know how i started in the industry years ago all right so i'm gonna shift the way i hold the brush i'm just gonna twist it and the brush head here that has a lot of the pigment i'm gonna lay it here on top of my socket line and i'm just going to run it gently so that it applies the color and intensity there that will just really help it me and blending out the color later all right so the color has intensified a teeny tiny bit and i can see that some of the um, shimmers have formed chunks on my eyelid but that's okay it's no big deal for me i can always layer it some more just to even out the color but i'm also glad that i'm able to intensify the color a bit and i'm still liking the intensity of the pink pigment that this eyeshadow has created even if i applied it with a wet brush because again it's not it's not making me look sickly and again the warm tones is still coming out i love this right now i'm gonna get my akohodo s144 brush i'm just gonna wet it a bit and i'm gonna go back and pick up this pinky color here i hope it picks up the pigment and i'm just gonna apply it all over my lower lash line Okay, with the Polydorf brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to blend out the edges and spread out the pigment right before they dry out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this taupey brown color again and I'm just going to brush it lightly all over my socket line. Now this will act as, again, a transition shade and this will just help me to create the initial shape that I need for my eye to create a nice lift. And to create a nice depth okay i'm gonna go back with the taupey color now 
and I'm just gonna apply that here in the outer portion in my lower lash line and I'm just going to create a lift a bit and I'm going to blend that into my socket line and you know again blending is the key for a nice eyeshadow application okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of this intense eggplant color with a smudger brush I'm just going to remove some of the excess here at the back of my hand and I'm going to line my upper lash line with this I'm not being careful, I'm just like, you know, trying to smoke out the color and to blend it out. I'm also going to do that here in my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking to be quite smoky already. Alright, now I'm going to pick up more of this eggplant color and I'm going to intensify my crease with this. So as you guys can see, this is where I loaded the color. I'm going to twist it a little bit and I'm just going to anchor it between my crease and my socket line and looking straight in the mirror i'm just gonna go like you know in windshield wiper motions back and forth back and forth just to intensify the depth there and to apply some definition Ooh, i love how sooty it's looking that's one of the qualities that i find with chanel eyeshadows it has a sooty quality to it all right so i'm just blending out the eyeshadow here just to blur out the edges. And by the way, for some trivia, the word tisse here in tisse cambon actually means to be woven. And cambon is the street where Chanel first um, set up shop as a hat designer. So tisse cambon, like poetically to me, it sounds like to be woven in cambon street. And um, one thing that I have also realized with all of the like hat omb is that the color combination here like in the eyeshadows is actually like the color combination that you can also see in their woven tweed design so isn't that so cool all right so i'm quite happy with that now so what i want to do actually is i want to intensify this color further so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wet this pencil brush from sonia g just to dampen the tips a bit and i'm going to pick up some of this color here this eggplant color again and let's try to see if this will actually intensify the pigment on my eyelid and yes i can see that it has intensified a teeny tiny bit but it didn't add more depth and darkness but it should be all right this would really really help I like to intensify the outer v area and to intensify the socket line area. And one thing that I have noticed is that when I actually use these eyeshadow colors on a wet on wet application and a wet on a dry application, it actually blends very nicely. It doesn't create any lifting at all. And this is actually a testament on how nice this formula is because I have tried doing that kind of an application technique before and I see lifting and that creates you know patchiness on the eye look and it just makes it more difficult for you to create a very nice intense look but i'm so happy that with this tc combon color from chanel like doing a wet on wet application technique a wet on dry application technique did not disturb the colors that was laid down on the eye initially so as you guys can see, it has intensified it further. It has really enhanced this eye look further. And as you guys can see, we can jump into the conclusion that we can actually play with a lot of different eye looks with this eyeshadow quad. Ooh, I'm really loving that. Okay, I'm just blending out the edges now, just around my socket line. Okay, let me just wet that again. And I'm going to apply some color here on my lower lash line. And it's going to blend it. Okay, I'm going to wet this Chikahodo smudger brush. And I'm going to pick up again this eggplant color. I'm like really working the smudger brush into the um, pan here. And I don't see any fallout, which is actually great. And I'm just going to apply 
the pigment here on my upper lash line just to intensify the depth there. Mm, very, very nice. I love it. I love this color on the eyes, especially for me. Just as a way of making my eye color come out. I really love it. All right, so I'm going to get this Plum Caviar Stick from Laura Mercier, and I'm just going to apply it here on my lower waterline because I think this will really work well together in just creating a very nice sooty eggplanty eye look and I really love how intense it is looking and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that here on my upper lash line just so that we have this very nice intense plum looking eyeshadow look very pretty very nice and then I'm going to finish it off with some mascara. All right, so I'm now adding my third coat of mascara because I really think that you should have nice fluttery lashes for this look. And ooh, look at that. Don't you just love a nice, sooty, smoky eye look? And by the way, this is not a black smoky eye. So it's a very nice pinky, violety smoky eye which is perfect for the season especially if you're someone who um like you know tends to create eyeshadow looks basing on the season because this is a very nice color to wear like you know when you're going on a night out on a nice spring evening or like during the early summer and it just gives a nice hint of color without being too intense because sometimes using black eyeshadow for a smoky eye is just way too much all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to apply a hint of concealer in my under eye area so that you guys can see how it looks like when the eyes have been made up. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just setting the concealer with powder in my under eye area and I'm not going to powder the rest of my face because I actually use like a tinted moisturizer all over and I just want to keep my skin looking very nice and radiant and plump and fresh and I think this is a nice um, product to use especially if you are living in a cold or cool climate because you know the air is very dry and you just really need all that moisture in your skin to keep it plump and radiant and also i have some cream blush down and if you find that you want to add more intensity always like you know apply it according to your desires and um the great thing about using cream blushes like this ilia one is that um when you see that the color that you applied initially has melded and blended it can, into the skin you can always go back pick up more and just add more intensity just so that you have more color into the skin but um, in my opinion don't overdo it because well depending on your eye look so for example on this eye since it's a very gentle eye look you can add more um, blush color just so that it balances out and you don't really look too washed out all right so i'm liking this it's looking like i'm looking quite flush let me just try to um cover the light that's coming in from this window because the sun has shifted in the sky already this always happens during the summer season here and on this part of my face because i have a very intense eye look i don't think i need to add more blush color here hmm. and as you guys can see you can actually create two different kind of eye looks with a tisa kambon quad eyeshadow from chanel so you can go light and dainty or you can go dark and sultry and um, what else should I need to do? Ah, 
lips now for lips it really is up to you and for me i just want to use some lip balm and i really love this lip balm from nars this afterglow lip balm in orgasm i think it has a very nice um hint of warmth into it it has some gold flecks and it just like you know keeps your lips hydrated especially when the weather is very very cool now what i like about this lip balm is that like you know um the color that it leaves on my lips it's just like i ate a very nice like you know peachy orangey candy and it's leaving a very nice stain on my lips but then again you know you can always use whatever lip color that you want on your lips whatever formula whatever works for you all right so that's it for me today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you have learned something in me showing you guys how you can create these two very distinct looks using the t Humble Le Cat Om from Chanel. All right, if you have any more questions with all of the products that I use today, please leave them down at the comments box and let's have a conversation about it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye! Hmm, hard. <gasps> I forgot to put some highlighter. Wait. All right, so let me go back here and apply some of the color here in my inner tear duct area. And whatever is left, I'm just gonna apply some of that here on my brow bone. Okay.